Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to talk the final four. And while I am a bit bummed, I am so incredibly excited and grateful that we had a tournament this year and that we're gonna be able to crown a true March Madness champion. So let's go ahead and talk the first game in-state rivalry, Baylor and Houston. So as I said, these two in-state rivals, it's just gonna make things a little bit more interesting. Uh, I will say that Houston had a little bit easier of a road uh, to get to this final. They had a great win over Cleveland State. Uh, they struggled against Rutgers. They absolutely stuffed Syracuse. And then they almost choked against the Oregon State Beavers while they were up by 17. Baylor, on the other hand, had a bit of a tougher road to get to this Final Four. They had to beat Arkansas, Nova, um, and Whiskey. And not only did they beat them, they beat them and covered against the spread, which we all know good teams win, great teams cover. Baylor is the best three-point shooting team in the nation. And on the other side of the ball, they are fantastic at forcing turnovers. I'll give it to the Cougars. They are a veteran team who is extremely gritty. However, this Baylor team is just deeper and a step up in class and something that this Cougars team really hasn't seen this season. I'm gonna go ahead and take Baylor laying the points. Next, we're talking the Zags and UCLA, and the Zags are laying, I believe it's 14. And while that might seem like a lot, um, have you all seen the Zags lately? This team is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, USC was supposed to be that big team, that force that was gonna give them problems, and what did the Zags do? Played exactly like they have all season and absolutely rolled over USC. And look, I will be the first person to admit that I have not given the Pac-12 as much credit as they deserve in this tournament. I mean, just think to my video last week, I said I love money more than the SEC, and I said that I was going to take UCLA, but I backed out and I ended up taking Bama, and I looked like one big fat loser. Um, obviously, UCLA has proven that they can hang with the big boys, especially with wins back-to-back -back over Bama and Michigan. However, the Zags are a different beast. I think that the Zags team hasn't even played at their full pace and potential all year. I think they're saving that for, for that championship game. And um, it's a lot of points, but at this point, how can you not lay it with Gonzaga? So I don't like to assume because we all know what assuming does, but say it is Baylor and the Zags in the final. Um, I think that that line might be anywhere from six and a half to eight with the Zags being favored. Um, I do like Baylor. They're a great school. They play cohesive basketball. They're wonderful at shooting the three. I think that they will uh, give the Zags some fits. But as I said, I think that Gonzaga really is waiting till that final game to showcase the full potential and just the full strength and the full force of that team that they have. And I think it is Gonzaga's tournament to lose. All right, y'all, that's all I have for this week. And whether it's Gonzaga, Gonzaga, Gonzuga, it doesn't matter. They're taking it all and they're covering the spread. Best of luck, make some money, and I'll be back to talk about some baseball next week.